Assalamu alaikum my dear friends, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIVS Home School. I am Ashish Vishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School Morning Shift. Today, I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So, my dear student, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 42 of half yearly and today's SW number will be 30. Dear student, today's SW will be your vacation SW and you must submit it on 29 May 2021. My dear student, today's topic name is chapter 8. From this chapter, we shall solve CBQ number 1 and 2. As CW and CBQ 3 will be your SW. So, my dear student, let us start our class. Here you notice CBQ 1, 2, 3 is written here. CBQ 1 and 2 will be solved in our class. And CBQ 3 will be your SW. At first, we read CBQ number 1. In the first term of exam, Shohan got 82 in Bangla, 96 in Math, 68 in English, 73 in Science and 77 in Bangladesh Studies and 90 in Religion. Okay, my dear student, Shohan a student who got uh, in the first term exam in Bangla 82, 96 in Math, 86 in English, 73 in Science, 77 in Bangladesh Studies and 90 in Religion. By this information, we shall solve question number A, B and C. A number question is how many marks? did he get in the first three subjects so what is, what are the first three subjects the first three subjects are bangla math and english so in bangla he got 82 marks in english in math he got 96 in english he got 68 marks that means we do addition and we get the answer i hope you have understood question number b what is the average marks did he get in fourth and fifth subject my dear student, in order to find this answer, at first we need to know which one is the fourth subject and which one is the fifth subject. Here, fourth subject is science and fifth subject is B uh, Bangladesh studies. So, at first we do the addition of the marks of science and Bangladesh studies. After that, we divide that summation by the number of quantities. Here, number of subject is two. So, we add that summation by two and we get the answer. Question number three. What is the average marks did he get in each subject? That means, my dear student, at first we add the whole numbers, uh, whole marks we see obtained in the first uh, term exam, and that summation will be divided by the number of subject, and we get the average of all subject marks. I hope you have understood. Now we shall solve question number A. How many marks did he get in the first three subject? So first of all, we write given that given that in first three subjects Shohan got 82, 96 and 68 marks. So, in total, he got in this first three subjects 82 plus 96 plus 68 marks with the addition 8 6 14 14 plus 6 16 from 16 i write here 6 carrying on 6 1 7 7 plus 9 7 plus 9 it will be 16 16 plus 8 it will be 24 so 246 marks is the answer of this question so, A number is done. I hope you have understood. And it is so easy math. And all the math are in same rules. Okay. Question number B. What is the average marks did he get in fourth and fifth subject? So, at first we need to know which one is fourth subject. And in that fourth subject he got how many marks? So, we, we shall solve question number B. Here in fourth subject and 
no no we write here given that in fourth subject subject that is in science he got 73 marks okay in fifth subject that is in Bangladesh studies he got 77 marks there are how many subject two subject two subjects so now we find out the average average is equal to 73 plus 77 divided by the number of quantities that means 2 we do addition of these two numbers 7 plus 3 10 from 10 I write here 0 carrying 1 7 7 14 plus 1 15 that means on 50 divided by 2 if we divide 15 by 2 then we get 7 7 2s are 14 carrying uh, if we subtract then on 10 in 10 2 goes in 5 times that means 75 is the average of this mark so you write here uh, the average marks of fourth and fifth subject is 75 and answer 75 marks i hope you have understood question number b done next we shall solve question number c what is the average marks did he get in each subject that means we find out the summation of each subject after that we divide that summation by the number of subject so at first count how many number how many subjects are there notice bangla 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 i repeat 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so right here there are six subjects okay now summation of the marks of these six subjects is okay we do summation that means here 82 plus 96 plus 68 plus 73 plus 77 plus 90 okay now we do addition 0 plus 7 7 7 plus 3 10 10 plus 8 18 18 plus 6 18 plus 6 24 24 plus 6 2 uh, 26 from 26 i write here 6 i repeat 2 6 8 8 8 16 16 plus 3 19 19 plus 7 26 26 plus 0 26 from 26 i write here 6 carrying 2 9 and 2 11 11 and 7 18 18 and 7 it will be 25 25 and 6 uh, uh, 25 and 6 31 31 and 9 it will be 40 40 and 8 48 so 486 486 now we find out average a v e r a z average equal to summation of the marks that means 486 divided by the number of subject that means here 6 so now we show the division procedure here in rough section 
486 in 48 6 goes in 6 8 jar 48 and 6 in 6 6 goes in on time 6 on the 6 subtract 0 so 81 so now we write here therefore the average mark is 81 average marks is 81 which he gets in his subject and answer 81 marks okay so this is the solution of cbq number one next we shall solve cbq number two and it is so easy the table below show the runs of four cricketers of a cricket mass here notice the name of the cricketer and the run okay to him 15 runs rana 20 runs shofik 5 runs rehan 28 runs a number what is the average run of four cricketers okay a number there are four three there are four cricketers okay sum of the runs so sum of the runs 15 plus 20 plus 5 plus 28 so 8 plus 5 13 13 plus 0 13 13 plus 5 18 from 18 i write here 8 carrying 1 2 1 3 3 plus 2 5 5 on 6 so 68 now we find out the average so average equal to 68 divided by 4 6 on the 6 uh, sorry 4 on the 4 uh, subtract and we get 2 28 in 28 4 goes in 7 times 17 is the average run of 4 cricketers so the average run of 4 cricketers is the average run of 4 cricketers is 17 and answer 17 runs okay next question number b how many more runs did shopik need to score of their average run would be 20 so if their average score will be 20 what will be their total runs here number of cricketer is 4 so we multiply this 20 by 4 and we get the total runs of there are four cricketers and in question number a we have already find out the sum of the runs of the four cricketers after that we subtraction and we get the result b from b we get sum of the runs of four cricketers is 68 okay given that the average runs of four cricketers is 20 so the sum of the runs of four cricketers is 20 multiplied by 4 that means 80 so shopping needs how many more runs right here we do subtraction and we get the result
Shofik needs 80 minus 68 marks. 8 to 10 to carrying 1. That one is added with 6, 7, 7 to 8. 1. So 12 marks. Answer 12 marks. I hope you have understood the solution of CBQ number 2. Next CBQ uh, number 3 will be your SW. In a one day series of 5 mass, Diganto made 60, 30, 0 and 0, 45 and 15 runs respectively. What was his average run for the first two masses? B number. What was his average run for the last three masses? C number. What was his average run for first, third and fifth mass? D number. In that series, what is the average run of the Ganto? This is similar as question number one. I hope you have you have solved this math easily by yourself ok so my dear student uh, you must uh, as do your sw in your sw copy and submit it in 29 may because it is your vacation sw my dear student today lecture is finished i hope you have understood my today's lecture keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then assalamualaikum